Welcome, friends, welcome pupils, and welcome you to this online teaching. Today, we are going to be looking at simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equation. And this class, this topic is for grade 4 and 5. And so, we are going to be looking at the substitution method. Substitution method and elimination method. So these are the only two methods we are going to take due to their level under simultaneous equation. So we are going to teach them how to substitute in simultaneous equation and how to eliminate using simultaneous equation. So switch right back and follow up with the teaching. Now, um, the time time wasting, we are going to start with the first, which is the substitution method. So I'm going to explain how to solve simultaneous equation using the substitution method for the grade 4 and 5 level. So this explanation, take note, this explanation is for the grade 4 and 5 level. So take note and follow up. Now, like we said, we are going to use the first, which is substitution method. How to substitute substitution method. Now, let's quickly take a question. But before that, I'd like to give a little explanation. Simultaneous equation simply means solving two equations at the same time. You are solving equation one, you are solving equation two, you are solving equation three. More than two equations, you are solving them simultaneously. That is the meaning of simultaneous equation. Do it two things simultaneously at the same time, simultaneously, following each other. That is the meaning of simultaneous equation. We also have quadratic equation. But simultaneous equation on is you are solving two equations simultaneously, which are the x and the y. You are looking for x and y simultaneously. So that is the essence of this simultaneous equation. So we are going to take question one, which says, question one, said solve the simultaneous equation using substitution method. Right? Now, let's go. Using substitution method. So, the question is this. X minus Y equals to 3 gives us our equation 1. The next, 2X minus Y equals to 8, which gives us equation 2. So, these are the two equations. It's one question. That carries two equations. That's why it's called simultaneous equation. As we are solving this, we are solving this simultaneously. So now put this down so that we can start solution for this particular question. We are going to be using substitution method. That is what we are going to be using to solve this due to the level or due to the standard or the class that is offering this topic, which is grade four and five. These are the only two methods that we can take which is the substitution method and the elimination method. Please follow up and pay attention. You people that are there, make sure you are writing and you are listening attentively. So put this down. Let's continue. Let's take solution to this question. Let's put the question up. X minus Y equals to 3. Question 1. And 2x minus y equals to 8. Equation 2. Now, there are basic steps that you need to follow when you want to use substitution method. Substitution method. Substitution. Now, it is you can either express x in place of y, sorry, of y, or y in place of 
x. Now, what do I mean by this? This is it. I want to show you now. Now, we are going to choose either equation 1 or equation 2. So, let's use equation 1. Let's take equation 1. But, what are we going to express it? How are we going to express it? We are going to use x in place of y using equation 1. Meaning, we now bring equation 1 here. Now, we want to use, we want to express x in place of y. Express x in place of y. This is it. Bring this s out equal to this minus y. Let it cross to come and meet this thing here. This minus y. Let it cross to come and meet this thing here. And don't forget, it has a negative sign. And any negative sign that crosses an equals to sign changes. This is a negative sign. Once it cross this equals to, it changes to a positive sign, which will now be plus y. So we'll now bring it here. 3 plus y. This will now be our equation 3. Any question? Don't forget, our minus y crosses to come and meet this theorem. Because we said we want to express x in place of y. So this is the x we are expressing now in place of y. So minus y will now cross to come and meet theorem. And don't forget, it's carrying a negative sign. And once this negative crosses equals to sign, it changes to positive, which is plus. That is why we now have plus y. I know you'll be wondering, how many? We are having minus here, but here we are now having plus. Yes. This minus have crossed this equals to sign. That's why it now changed to plus. That is the reason. If there is plus here, if it cross this equals to sign, it will turn to minus. So take note and put it down. So now we have done this. This is now our equation three. What is the next thing? We are now simply going to substitute. That is the next uh, thing we are going to do. So we are now going to substitute. We are going to substitute the value of x want to substitute the value of x in equation 2. Don't forget it was equation 1 we used to convert to equation 3. So we want to substitute this x now. This is x. Anything you talk about x is 3 plus y. This is x now. We have gotten our x as 3 plus y. But we want to substitute it into equation 2 so that we we'll get our answer. So that is what we are going to do. Anywhere you see x, put 3 plus y. Anywhere there is x, we put what? 3 plus y. So that is what we want to take now. So let's go. So substitute into equation 2. This is, don't forget, our s is equal to 3 plus y. Okay, let me put it again. Substitute equation 3 or x into equation 2. So that's what we want to do now. This is equation 3, don't forget. So let's bring out equation 2, which is 2x minus y equals to 8. This is equation 2, which is this. They say we should substitute equation 3 into equation 2. That is what we want to do now. So anywhere I see x, I'll put 3 plus y. This is x. This is the figure of x. Anywhere you see x now, get. Yeah. Hope you can see x. Look at x. What am I going to put? This. This will not represent x. Hope you are seeing it x is not this because it is x x is equal to 3 plus y so anywhere i see x i'm going to put this figure 3 plus y so that's what i'm going to, I want to put now so let's go to so now be 2 share there's x here i will open brackets and write this number this is the figure for x 3 plus y i'll close the bracket then minus y equals to 8. very simple so now we are going to open the bracket Simply going to open the bracket. Let's come here. What are we going to use to open the bracket? The number that is closer or the figure that is closer to the bracket, which is what? 2. So let's open the bracket.
So let's open the brackets with these two. So we'll not come. So these two will multiply everything inside this bracket. These two will open everything inside this bracket. So let's go. The first is two times three is six. This plus is here. Two times y is two y, not y two. There's nothing like y two. This is what two y. So that is a two y. Then there's minus here, minus y equals to what eight. Don't forget we have eight there, which is equals to eight. Then it's very simple. Let's go. Now two y minus y. We have two y here, and we have one y. Let's say we should minus on it. If you have two y like this, minus one y. If you minus this y from this, will you still be having any other y? Yes, you still be having y. It's not one y. Don't call this one y. It's y. Hmm? So two y minus y is y. Don't forget. So it will now be six plus y. Nothing like one y. No. Clean the y one away. It is y. We have two here, two y. Look at it. Y, y. And we have only one here. If you remove this one from here, we we'll still be having one left now. So you put the one y here. Don't write it as one y. It's wrong. It is y. Then equals to eight. Next, simple. Collect like terms. Collect like terms. We are simply going to separate it. Our y will remain equals to 8. Don't forget there's a plus here. If this plus 6 crosses to come and meet 8, what will happen? It will turn to minus 6. So it's now minus 6. Don't forget plus is at the back of this 6. It has crossed this equals to sign. So it now turns to what? Minus 6. So y will now be equal to 8 minus 6 is what? 2. So y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2. That is the answer for y. Now we need to get our what? x. So what are we going to do to get our x? We are going to substitute y into equation 3. This is equation 3. We want to get x. We have gotten y, but we don't know the value of x. Don't forget the simultaneous equation. It has two sides, x and y. So we need to get x and y. So we don't know x value. We only know y value. y in this equation is what? 2. So let's solve for what? x. 